join us out here in the garden on a very sunny day actually which is uh, makes a change after all the rain we've been having but uh, what we're going to be doing now is restarting construction on the garden portion of Bolton Trinity Road and uh, last year we built the brick piers and uh, made the ways through the side of the shed and you can see that in part one of this video series and it's been a long time in coming but we're ready to uh, start construction of the uh, the rest of the structure that's going to be outside. Of course this has to deal with all weathers and uh, any incursions from the local cat population. So uh, what we've got are um, these metal post uh, feet and these are going to get uh, screwed down onto the brick piers that we built last year and as you can see they're all ready for your 3x3 three three, uh, ready treated tantalised timber to go in and then tighten up. Um, so we use these as the base and then that gives us ultimate flexibility in the lengths of the posts that we're going to use. We can adjust them as necessary ready to create a nice level playing field for the baseboard structure which will be built last that the track will go on top of. So let's go and have a look at the posts and uh, I'll show you how uh, we're going to be fixing these. Right, well it's uh, incredibly bright out here actually. I'm struggling to see and uh, I'm guessing that you're probably struggling to see me but it makes a difference from all the, uh, the rain and the wind that we've been having. Anyway, without further ado, this down here is one of the brick brick piers that we built last year um, so it's had plenty of time for the cement and concrete to set. Now um, the, the cement actually takes, I'm told, anywhere up to a month to fully harden so even when it goes hard it isn't necessarily fully hard and I've heard some people refer to it as being green. Well these have been here now for well over six months so uh, I think they're well and truly cured and that means when we drill into them to uh, fix this post onto it hopefully the cement isn't going to crack up and you can see we're just going to position this loosely on the top there and we're going to screw it down and then that provides us with our, our base to at a later date put in the wooden posts that everything else is going on to. The reason I went for these brick piers on the bottom is because the idea of having wood concreted into the ground is just a non-starter. I think it's absolute folly to do something like that because you'll only have to replace it because it'll go rotten. And even if that's a couple of years down the line, well, that's a couple of years too soon for my liking. Anyway, we're going to uh, be uh, screwing these down and we'll come back and have a look at them uh, when I've done. Right, what we've done now is uh, we've been out there and uh, we've drilled and screwed all of the metal base plates in place. As you can see, we've got all six done. We've used washers and screws, uh, which screw into plastic roll plugs, which in turn go into the holes that we've drilled. It's quite easy to do. And as my father always said, have the right tool for the job, and it makes it a heck of a lot easier. And in this case, we've used mains-powered electric drill with a, a 6 mil masonry drill bit and uh, obviously that drill has the hammer setting which is very important when you're drilling into walls, concrete or brick piers just like this and it effectively slams the drill bit backwards and forwards very very quickly, very very slightly and that helps it to uh, get through materials such as the cement that's in these brick posts and that's it really, these are now all ready and fixed waiting for the wooden posts which will go in to support the actual track bed. The wooden posts won't need to be very very long but we're all ready and waiting so uh, until next time when uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit more to show you. You take very good care of yourself and until then that's me Jenny Kirk saying bye for now.